Hey there, I'm Martin from the Flutter team. And today I'm gonna to be showing you all the awesome things happening with Flutter here at Google I.O. We have a ton of sessions going on, we have a really cool sandbox experience, and we also have people of our team and developer experts that we're gonna be hearing from firsthand. So let's take a look. Can you tell us a little bit about what you think of our announcements this year? I'm the most excited about Flutter 1.5 uh, and what's new in it. And uh, coming to the Dart side of it, I'm also excited about Dart 2.3. Oh, I think it's got to be Flutter for web, the ability to actually run the same Flutter applications on mobile and web. I would be able to build games and apps for the web, so I'm very excited about that. There's so much possibility, and I really can't wait to start playing around with a lot of it, and also editing articles <laughs> from people writing about it all. I'm really impressed with just, just the nature of cross-platform that you can get. With, with widgets and Flutter in general is just really brilliant. I'm here in front of the Flutter Sandbox where we have a lot of exciting things that we just announced inside. We also have a lot of excited Flutter users. In fact, I see some right now. <laughs> Your team has worked really hard on the Sandbox and it shows, right? I'm curious for you to just comment on what you actually think now that you're here today. We build the demos because we want to demonstrate what Flutter can do. And importantly, we want to be able to put the code back into the hands of people who want to build cool things with uh, Flutter. So when you see things like develop request, that code is out there and available now, and people should go and check it out because we try to put a lot of effort in to make that code reusable and readable uh, for the development community so that they can benefit from us building cool things like that. So this is develop request. It's a gamification of the software development process that we put together to demonstrate some of Flutter's look and feel. Um, it is written entirely in Flutter. It uses the animation framework Flare from Two Dimensions, and we're pleased to have people actually using it. It's available on the Play Store. Behind you this year, we have more than just mobile phones. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here? Yeah, we've got a bunch of apps here that are all built in Flutter. Uh, here we see Flutter running on the web uh, with our Ken Ken app. We also have a bunch of apps here on phones and tablets of different sizes, uh, and we have a game over, over here that was all built in Flutter. Well, what do you think of the sandbox here? Like, what, what is exciting? Um, I like the widget trees. I don't know if you've seen them, but it's widgets and trees. I have been working on making Flutter easier to learn through improving our documentation and code samples, because I'm new to Flutter as well. And so as I've been going through and learning, I've been trying to make it easier for those who follow. This is a really key milestone for us. So here today, for the first time, we're shipping a technical preview of Flutter for the web, which lets you take your exactly the same Flutter code and deliver a pixel-perfect rendition on web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge. Uh, we're also taking Flutter to the desktop, and we've moved Flutter's desktop embedding support directly into the core Flutter repo. Uh, and lastly, uh, today we're also announcing uh, that Flutter is being brought into other uh, places. For example, the assistant team uh, are now using Flutter to build core experiences for their smart display platform, including Google Home Hub, or as Google Nest Hub as it's now called, and Google Nest Hub Max. So we're seeing Flutter emerge from being this uh, mobile platform to really being a, an environment for you. No matter what kind of application you're building, no matter what kind of platform you're trying to target, uh, Flutter is this beautiful, fast, portable UI framework. So this is a demo that was just shown in the developer keynote. It's New York Times Ken Ken Puzzle, which was built entirely in Flutter. So as you can see here, I can basically interact with this. So if I click on it, you can type different numbers. And uh, let's reveal the squares. There you go. And it's fully interactive. And it works on all the different uh, devices. It's really cool. And I encourage you to go check it out. It's live right now on the New York Times website. If you could hot reload anything in your life, what would it be and why? Uh, it would be my decision to start Flutter earlier. I want to fast forward like probably a month from now so I can finish my project like that. Driving, driving faster. Yeah, navigating and driving. Maybe hot reloading my sleep schedule. The espresso machine, it takes too long. What does Dash's voice sound like? Cheap, cheap, use Flutter. <laughs> squeak, squeak. I'm Dash. It sounds like Big Bird on helium, but you know, don't tell him I said that. Hi there, try Flutter. Something like this. So I think Dash expresses themselves through code. Just hot reloaded code over and over. So that's it for Flutter on site. I hope you had a great time checking out everything we have here at IO19. Uh, for everything else, go to youtube.com slash flutterdev for more videos or flutter.dev, which is our website. See you over there.